world championship title is what every athlete dreams of, and pole vaulter Renato Villani is no exception. In fact, he's won pretty much everything. Well, except for one thing, a world championships. We've been behind the scenes with Radzi. Radzi Chinyanganya. All eyes, this 8,000 seater arena are on Radzi. Well, before this place is absolutely packed, let's go and find our seat. Welcome to the hustle and bustle of Beijing. What's going to be going through their heads? This is the big one now. The first ball has been kicked of the FA Cup fifth round. Whether America or even the world is equal for everyone is still very much up for debate. I land the handspring. I can't believe it. That was a great start to the routine. We've already seen some dramatic matches so far. Can this one prove to be just as good? The journalists are staying patriotic, but who will be on the back pages? There's a lot of power in that music. What does it mean to you? I have absolutely no idea what this is, but I want to have one. You can see the splits there, wow! The gold medal eludes Renal Le Villainy, and you can see just how gutted he is about it. Growing up and feeling as though you don't fit in because of the way that you look can be tough. When I'm in my 80s, I want to look like you. Want We've to... got it! We've actually... That is my stomach live! <laughs> Here we go! He's got it! Well, I think he achieved oh, everything that he would have wanted to have done. That's definitely a goal, but as far as I'm concerned... <laughs> And it was that desire to see change that drove the marchers to walk that Sunday morning, despite the risk of violence. Yet as they made their way through Selma, they found it eerily quiet. Well, that was until they came here to the Edmund Pettus Bridge, which you can see just over there. It's on the outskirts of Selma. As they walked to the far side of the bridge, they were met by a wall of police. So, Shine, at this point here, we can see the end of the bridge. What would you have seen at this stage? This was a devastating picture. I could see hundreds of policemen with tear gas masks, state troopers on horses. I'm already seven miles into my journey, and over the next two days, I hope to walk a further 30. Although I'm hot, I've got really nicely ventilated T-shirt, shorts, trainers as well. They didn't have that. They just had shoes like you'd wear at school. Not the kind of stuff you'd want to be wearing when walking 54 miles. And it's just kind of that that makes me even more in awe of those incredible people. Two and a half laps left of the men's 5,000 metres and defending champion Mo Farah is still in the lead. Nick Miller has just walked into the throwing circle for his first ever throw at the World Championships. You can feel the tension, but that's because the coaches are just over there. And two men who are incredibly interested in to see how he gets on is Steve Cram and Brendan Foster. The sounds, the smells, all the senses get triggered here. Well, Beijing's famed for its Peking duck, and here you can get everything from coiled sea snake to cow's intestines. But I think I'm going to play it safe and just have some crisps. I'm learning really quickly. Everywhere you go, you need to move out the way of bikes, scooters, vehicles like that. There's a reason why this is one of the modern wonders of the world. It's a phenomenal sight. A real privilege just to see the scale of this place. Incredible. And where would the game sit, perhaps, with traditional Bible reading? Is it looking to actually replace the Bible? Well, that's really interesting because, although you're not Christians, the content of this game is about the Bible and Christianity, but you still find it interesting. And how do you rate this game? Uh, it, uh, I think it's a 10 out of 10. Yeah. Really? Really. Oh, well, it doesn't get much better than that. Guys, are we fans? Yeah! Yes, thank you. Gold, silver, bronze, Great Britain, done.